What's going on guys, this is Aaron from Departures Capital and welcome to the video. In this video we're talking about one exciting company that's been on a run recently and um, it's up over 100% now so we're going to be taking a look at the charts, talking a little bit about the company along with all the other things that we talk about in every single one of your market minutes. This is your daily recap and it was an awesome day, not so much an awesome day for the markets and gold and silver mixed but some of our favorite stocks had a tremendous day today. And I'm super excited. We got that breakout for MindMed. Things are looking good for the psychedelic sector in general. So we're also going to be talking about that. And I will be making a specific video for that whole sector on departures stocks. It will be my second video in a row on psychedelics. But I did change it up this week a little bit. I made a video on uranium. I want to do some stuff on dividend stocks as well. So it's not like it's the only thing we're talking about. But this is the moment that we've been waiting for this breakout that I thought you know was going to happen. The next leg higher. Is it? I'm not 100% sure but all signs are pointing to, you know, it is, hopefully. Once again, not financial advice. These videos are never financial advice. And that's it. That's it for the intro. Let's get straight into it, guys. Always remember, if you do support me in the channel and all the videos kindly, explode that like button. It takes just one second every time, and it means the world to me, along with smashing that subscribe button. Thank you so much for getting me to 31.2K. Let's get me to 31.5K. I know... Subs and departures capital haven't really been growing as fast. I don't know if it's because of the sponsored content or the algorithms, the way the algorithm works or whatever. But um, if you do enjoy the content and the flow of new and exciting companies, then, then kindly catch that subscribe button and ring the market bell for notifications on future videos. And we do have a few more interesting companies on the way. And I want to mention, I will be doing an overview, a sponsored video for eHave tomorrow. So I know I've gotten a lot of requests for it and I'm excited to make it. And the second that I saw that that was a company that um, you know that they were proposing to me, I jumped right on that. So I'm excited to talk about that one. I believe it's a psychedelic stock. So anyways, guys, let's get into comment of the day. And the first thing, uh, first comment of the day, KPB. I bought some Empress Royalty yesterday, EMPR. They have a decent portfolio and seem to still be at the ground floor. DPPS Heels. When you think it's departures stocks, but it's departures capital, I'm here anyways. Thank you, buddy. I'm the same person, two different channels. And we're actually starting a third channel. So watch out for that. We will have a third channel, more so dedicated to interviews because I want to transition into having, you know, multiple channels, of course, departures capital more so, you know, for the sponsored content, the new and exciting companies, departures stocks is essentially, you know, strictly, you know, my opinion on certain things, specific topics. That's really why I think that that channel has gotten, you know, a lot of traction recently is because I just talk. It's not sponsored. Um, and I know that a lot of you guys appreciate that type of content, maybe as opposed to sponsored content. But um, it, of course, it is nice to introduce new companies as well. So and then the third channel, we're going to dedicate it strictly to interviews because I feel like, you know, interviews are also, you know, really awesome. It's nice to hear from these companies. So we'll be able to post the interviews on Departures Capital, but also we'll have like a dedicated interview channel. And maybe, you know, I can do some unpaid collaborations, like just with interesting people, fellow YouTubers and things like that. So I think that that's where I want to take, you know, Departures Capital 3.0, because right now we've got two channels. But the third channel, I think, will be easily manageable because interviews don't really take too much time or too much preparation other than the questions. So Matthew Brown, can you talk about precious metal streaming companies, specifically wheat and precious metals? I want to win some MindMed merch, homie, and we will be having that draw tomorrow. So I'll do the draw tomorrow for you guys, and it's going to be very exciting. So I've been taking all of your entries, you know, whether you post on these videos, one entry per person, you retweet the Twitter post, talk about it in the Facebook group, or even on Reddit now. We're now uh, entering all of our Reddit peoples. But anyways... I've got MindMed t-shirts on the way. I still have a bunch of merch. And I wanted to say also, for anyone who's been wondering, have they gotten my MindMed merch yet? Is it lost in the mail? It's being shipped out by the end of this week. So I was super busy. I didn't have a chance to get to it, but it will be shipped out this week. And um, I'm excited for you guys to get it. And feel free to send me a picture. IMD, thank you for the presentation on Fuse.V. Went up four times today, and that was crazy. I did not expect that. Phil Amaral, TGM had a fantastic day. P.S. I need some MindMed merch for Yacht Day. TGM did have a fantastic day. And we dropped an interview for them on the channel today. Russell Starr, he's a rock star. I love talking to him about gold. And he had a really good 
opinion on gold and you know why millennials should take a look at gold or at least you know consider it just because you guys know I'm a gold a long-term gold and silver bull maybe some of you guys can't figure out why and don't agree with it but um, he also offers a really awesome perspective so check that out anyways that's it for comment of the day we're gonna try and structure these videos you know a little bit more dynamic you could say as opposed to just going over a bunch of different articles and reading I'm more so just gonna talk to you guys about the things that I want to talk about and my favorite stocks of the day so of course I do want to recap the markets however and it was a relatively flat day the Dow actually closed down 12 points with the S&P up less than one point and the Nasdaq up over half a percent so tech stocks lead the way the Dow was unchanged on Thursday but continued to trend close to record highs as Apple led climbed in tech ahead of its quarterly earnings next week offset losses in energy so it is we're getting into earnings season and that's also going to be very exciting. I do think earnings should probably be decent for most sectors. I feel like the economy did maybe all right in the summer of last year. Hopefully, you know, some of these companies, with all the stimulus, certain companies are going to do very well. Other companies, obviously, not so much. But um, let's take a look at gold and silver. So gold and silver have hung in there pretty well. Gold's at 1869 showing some signs of life, you know, recovering back above 1850, definitely what I like to see. And this is, you know, a slow and steady climb for me. So the psychedelic sector is starting to take off and I'm super happy guys. I got to say, this is kind of the moves that I've been waiting for. And I also got a comment on one of my videos recently. I can't remember from who exactly, or it was in a Facebook group, but he was talking about correlation you know psychedelic stocks versus gold and silver stocks and sometimes they tend to move in opposite directions which for me is actually pretty awesome because uh, I'm looking to book some profits in the psychedelic sector and put that a little bit more into gold and silver and I've been talking about this for a very long time and we're starting to see that happen although you know I wouldn't be sad if the gold and silver sector kind of continues to consolidate it doesn't move up right away because I think at one point sometime this year hopefully we are going to get a big bull run for gold and silver and um, it's kind of just bouncing around in this range silver's above 26 now gold's almost at 1900 still recovering and um, when more stimulus is announced you know i'm just maintaining this long-term bullish outlook on gold and silver and buying my favorite stocks when the market dips and we did get a pretty decent dip recently which did erase some of my gains but luckily you know i was on top of things when I was buying before and a um, number of my silver positions are still in the green but not as great as they were before so anyways let's quickly get into some Kitco news about some gold and silver stocks and then we're going to talk about our favorite stocks including that one tech stock that has absolutely been running like crazy I started talking about it around seven cents seven cents was the first time I bought it and now it's at 16 or 18 or I don't know but we'll take a look in a second so gold prices re remain near record highs but gold stocks as a class remain relatively cheap compared to gold itself and you know one of the first companies that comes to mind if you're looking for an exploration company you know that's potentially undervalued is Trillium Gold I mean they keep getting more land they're doing a lot they are gonna have three drill rigs turning um, that I mean it's it started to run obviously bounced off of 130 and we're up around two bucks now but uh, it's nice to see it finally performing. So it's interesting to look at how many ounces of gold it takes to buy the Dow, a, bar a barrel of oil or a good suit. But it's directly relevant to price gold stocks in gold and silver, stocks in silver, as these companies produce or discover these metals. Their value is correctly and materially impacted by the changes in the prices of the metals. And we've seen this happen. I mean, the price of gold hasn't really done too too much but a lot of these equities got slammed pretty hard which uh, in my opinion you know what that means to me is if gold starts to rise these equities are going to play catch up at a very nice pace and we've seen this happen but it tends to lag and outperform and lag and outperform it, it never really moves you know perfectly in tandem because when gold was pushing up and it pushed to 2000 we saw tremendous gains for some of these gold and silver producers, explorers, and all of that stuff. So here's a good article, or sorry, here's a good video. You might want to check out, you know, if you're looking at gold stocks and you're not sure about the sector, don't get scammed by miners. 
Brent Cook, founder of Exploration Insights, a legitimate company will put out a couple of paragraphs to tell you this is basically what's going on. Any one without technical ability can understand it. And then they need to include the details, backup data. So there's so many gold companies out there. I just really wanted to you know, highlight this, say this, that um, definitely be careful and always do your research, not just on the company, their asset, but also on the management team and everything else that comes along with it. You know, who is a strategic investor in the company? Does Eric Sprott own a position? Not that that's the be all end all of gold and silver stocks, but it definitely means something to me. So slight losses for gold, but bulls have the advantage after a solid week. So this is from Jim Wyckoff. Gold future prices are trading a bit lower in midday US trading Thursday. Silver is posting slight gains. Both metals have made solid rebounds from their weekly lows to give the bulls some upside technical momentum. So, so far so good. We're gonna leave it at that, guys, and we're gonna get straight into my favorite stocks. MindMed had a fantastic day. We will talk about this on departure stocks today. I will make a big, psych big psychedelic stock sector update video. But um, you know, we tested 420 so many times, and I thought that this time was you know gonna be the time where we finally broke 420. It looks like we put in a triple bottom, and we tested 420 multiple times. Luckily, I was looking at my TFSA yesterday and I even talked to my dad and I was like, dad, how much money, you know, can I put in, whatever. Found out that I wasn't maxed out, so I was able to squeeze a few more, a little bit more money into my TFSA and buy some more shares of MindMed right before it went up 12% today. So I gotta say, I'm super happy with that. And um, it was just uh, good timing. I said anything below 440, you know, looked attractive to me. So the last purchase I think was around 413. So. Not too bad, 12% on the day. So the next level that I'm looking at, 460, 470, I think that that's going to be our next major point of resistance. And if we crack that like we did today, you know, for 420, I don't know. I think, you know, we've got a full dollar to $2 of upside, even a chance to test 52 week highs. That's what it's looking at because it gapped up. It dramatically rose and fell. So, you know, sorry guys, I, I want to revise that a little bit. I want to say between 470 and 490 because that's where it attempted to, you know, consolidate right before plunging down to their 380-ish. But I think, you know, once we get above that heading towards five, I don't see much resistance at least for the charts. So now this is from, now this is my simple technical. Now once again, that's just, you know, my simple chart reading. I'm not the best chart reader in terms of technical analysis, but that's just what I think. And those are some key levels that I'm watching. So feel free to offer, you know, what you guys think in the comments down below. So this one company we will be dropping tomorrow on the channel, a full in-depth overview, introduction video, sponsored video on eHave. We've gotten a lot of, um, you know, comments about this company, a lot of people recommending it. So I'm excited to start talking about it. Now guys, let's take a look at one of the biggest runners, biggest runner recently. It closed down, not at its highs of 18 and a half cents today, but still up 23% down to 16 cents. And that's Lightlink technology. So I started talking about this briefly at seven cents. I did take a pretty decent position actually around seven, eight cents, nine cents. I was buying, bought a little bit more today, around 13 cents. Um, that's obviously, you know, my last purchase, but so far it's been awesome, you know, up, up almost 100% as my average share price did climb when I was essentially averaging up. But um, very interesting company, you know, take a look at them. I'm not gonna talk too much about them. I just wanted to state their monthly performance has been and what's interesting is the stock is moving on no news. I do believe that, I do think that they're gonna have news over the next week or two. It's funny because I've interviewed the company CEO for some sponsored videos. I've, I've done an overview on the company about a year ago, sponsored video. And um, you know, over the last five years, it's, it's been a bit of a rough ride for them. So they've gotten as high as 30 cents multiple times, sold off all the way to, you know, like 52 week lows of, a. 1.5 cents, 52 week highs of 18.50, or sorry, 18 and a half cents. So there's clearly some momentum right now. 
Um, we'll see how far it goes. I expect some kind of news over the next couple of weeks. And um, yeah, this is just one stock that's been on my watch list and it has been a killer recently. I mean, 23% again today, that's, uh, that's pretty impressive in my books. So now let's take a look at a few of our other favorite stocks. We're also gonna look at the gold and silver stocks as well, but um, not, we're not gonna spend too many more minutes on this because uh, we're already at 17 minutes. So a buck 54 for Numi. The chart looks even better for Numi as opposed to MindMed, but MindMed, you know, has these nice epic breakouts. Numi is clearly, you know, having a breakout here, but I can draw this line almost, you know, perfectly for Numi. It's like, it's an ascending level of support, which is a pretty beautiful chart. And it does look like, you know, this psychedelic sector is going to potentially head much, much higher in the next leg up. The next leg up, I think is going to be pretty epic, especially for mind med, because, you know, hopefully at some point, something big is going to happen some strategic investment, uplisting to the NASDAQ, more news in their clinical trials. You know, they have been doing a little bit more PR, so, you know, I think they're up to something. I'd love to get JR back on when we have some really significant news to talk about, but um, so far so good, guys. As long as the market holds, um, it, the sector is looking very bullish. It looks like there's some bullish momentum behind it, and I'm excited. That's all I gotta say, but always be cautious. These stocks are highly volatile, and as we know, come down as fast as they go up so you know it's exciting when we're winning everyone's oh my gosh made so much money but then they also sell off so that's why i always say these videos are never financial advice always do your own research and due diligence and with that being said we're going to wrap this video up so always remember guys departures capital and departures stocks are for information education and entertainment purposes only don't buy or sell a stock because you heard it on here, buy or sell a stock because you've done your research, you've done your thorough due diligence, and you're making your own personal investment decisions for yourself. This video is not financial advice. We'll see you guys in our next video.